It doesn't look amazing, but I'm excited to see how it tastes. So let's dig in. If you're looking for tall loaves, get out of here. Yo, what up? Today we're gonna make some vegan meatloaf. Vegan meatloaf doesn't sound too vegan, does it? Psych, there's no meat in it. That's why it's vegan. Who would have thought? We're gonna learn this together. The recipe sounds pretty straightforward. I googled vegan meatloaf, detoxinista, Dot com had a recipe and I said I clicked it and I said this is the one I guess the process seems pretty straightforward I'm pretty psyched. I'm hungry on the side. We're gonna have mashed potatoes green beans gravy It's gonna be gravy. I'm really excited for this gravy. I'm gonna eat this alone in my basement apartment I don't know about you. Let's go and remember to subscribe because I have 15 followers Let's make some vegan meatloaf. We all know how to cut up one of these. Um, so this is like an average size uh, carrot. Yeah, this is like average size, right? And we're gonna dice it up. Oh no, I'm like carrot. Gonna cut up this celery. Carrot's trying to run away from me. <laughs> Come back to me. Crush up that garlic. I'm just gonna cut them up in a little bits. And now we're gonna add all this with some olive oil into the pan. We're gonna fry it up till it's nice and soft. Use the back of your knife for this because you don't want to doll it. Hey, doll knife, doll life. Ah, that's what I always say. We got a couple things we're gonna add to the blender. We got one and a half cups of cooked lentils right here, one cup of oats right here, half cup of walnuts right here, two tablespoons of ground flax seed right here, two tablespoons of tamari right here. We got one teaspoon of dried thyme, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cayenne. So that's just right this. here. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Oh no, my tamari. All this stuff is gonna go into the blender. If you got garbage on your counter, get rid of it. Get rid of the garbage. This is the worst cooking show ever. There is another thing that we can be doing while we're waiting for this to cook, and that is create the glaze that's gonna go over top of this lentil loaf. Get a bowl. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. One eighth of salt. So that, one eighth of salt. One eighth of salt. And now we're just gonna whisk it all together. I'm not even, I hate cleaning whisks. So I'm just gonna put this back and I'm gonna get a fork and we're gonna clean it that way. Clean it that way. We're gonna stir it that way. Am I senile? This is my secret senile sauce. This is the sauce that we're gonna put over top the baked lentil loaf. You know what I'm gonna start to add in is, is this dry stuff. So a little dash of the cayenne. One teaspoon dry thyme. Two tablespoons tamari. A two a tablespoons of tamari. <laughs> is tamari Italian? This is my daughter, her name's a tamari. Then half a teaspoon of sea salt. All right, then ground pep. Got some ground pep. Okay, this is in a much better place now. Oh my God, this is so hot. So now just dumping all this stuff into the blender. And you know what we're gonna need? This. It's not supposed to be like a paste. It's supposed to be like a, I don't even know how to describe it. A bit, a bit of a mess. Oh no, my pepper. Oh my God, that's so hot. Okay, that's that has to be good. Is this a bread pan? I don't even know what this is called. A bacon pan, bread, a bread pan, bacon pan. I'm gonna lube it up with some olive oil. Oh, I hate getting olive oil on my hands when it's all greasy. It makes me so mad. Dump it into the, the bread, the bread basket. <laughs> Little parts at the back aren't playing too nicely. Hey, get along, get along back there. Okay, I'm gonna pat it down. Make it nice and firm. I wanna be completely upfront with this. This is a short loaf. If you're looking for tall loaves, get out of here. You're not gonna find it here. Now we're gonna apply the glaze. I'm just gonna paint it on, you know? Very soothing part of the whole meal, you know? You didn't really miss much, that's the good part. It was, it actually is, it's a furnace in here. I put the loaf into the oven, probably waiting like another five, 10 minutes. It's ready, it's done. Hey Google, hey Google, stop the alarm. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. Whew. Ow. That's why you put on two oven mitts. This is the lentil loaf. It doesn't look particularly delicious. Let's see in 120 frames a second if that changes anything.
All right, let's give this lentil loaf a taste. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look amazing, but I'm excited to see how it tastes. So let's dig in. Mmm, that's surprisingly good. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. This is pretty tasty. Let's get some beans in the mix. That's pretty good. Depending on how much you blend it up, you will get a little bit of texture of like nuts and like the other stuff that you put in there. But overall, this is actually really tasty. I, I would definitely make this again. That was really tasty. That was boom. If you guys gave this a try and you thought it was pretty good, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like it, then obviously don't even comment, just f off. Big thanks to DetoxAnista.com for that recipe. Do you know what you're doing in the kitchen? Cause I don't, obviously. I have to use recipes whenever I cook because I suck at it. If you're in the exact same boat and you wanna learn how to cook vegan, then subscribe to this channel and we can learn together. It'll be a fun little journey between us. Feel free to leave a comment if you have an idea for something else that I should try out. I'll see you next time.